emulating the Wii U is an interesting prospect, as many Wii U games have been ported over to Nintendo Switch, or they got sequels. But on emulation, it's a different story. The Wii U version of Breath of the Wild is the definitive way to play the game on PC. But there's no Linux version, you say? Well, guess what? Proton also takes care of that. This is Wii U on the Steam Deck. If you like my content, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and join my Discord server in the description below. As you may have noticed, I am now affiliated with the Steam Deck Discord. Links in the description below. Simu has no Linux version, so all of this was running through Proton, and beautifully as well. If there's anything you should take from this, it's that Proton works on non-Steam games as well, and in this case, a whole emulator. Anyways, here are the settings that we used. Be sure to use Vulkan as your graphics API, and enable async shader compile. With X-Audio 2, we didn't really encounter any audio issues, so this is what I recommend, really. This is Yoshi's Wooly World on the Wii U. Yoshi's Wooly World runs at 60 FPS on native hardware. This is very, very close. At times it'll run at 60 FPS, but right now it's hovering around 57, 58. And it's pretty early on in the game. I don't really have a lot to say about this. I will say that the GPU will occasionally spike up to 100%, while the CPU doesn't get taxed nearly as often as, say, the GPU is. Sometimes it'll spike up as well, though. Not a major cause for concern for this game. You might be noticing why you can't see the total system power draw, and that's because we plugged this in while we were testing. I didn't realize that we wouldn't be able to see total system power draw while we plugged this in to the wall, so my bad. This is the Wind Waker HD. Oh wait, let me cut to gameplay. All things considered, Wind Waker HD on Simu runs really well on the Steam Deck. Aside from the occasional spikes in GPU and CPU, it isn't really taxing the system that hard, honestly. Though admittedly we're pretty early on in the game, I highly suspect that it'll run great even in those intense moments. It may drop below 30, but it's nothing unplayable. This is Sonic Boom, The Rise of Lyric. Why are we testing this? Well, that's because my colleague insisted that we do it for the memes. Memes aside, it runs pretty well. There's not a whole lot of performance issues to speak of, really. Other than that though, there isn't really a whole lot to complain about, aside from, you know, the game itself. There's one other game we tested too, Breath of the Wild. We'll show you a bit of footage here. Breath of the Wild is an interesting topic given that there's a Wii U version as well as a Switch version. That said, it's recommended that you run the Wii U version of Breath of the Wild rather than the Switch version, mostly due to performance, but also because of mods. As you can see here, we're actually running a 60fps mod for Breath of the Wild. You can actually set per game specifications for games, and in this case, we did that for Breath of the Wild, though we're not going to cover it in this video. We plan on making a separate video dedicated to just Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild with and without mods. So if you're interested in seeing that, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you can get notified when we upload a new video.